Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Be For Real. I am Britt. So today we are right in the kitchen. Ain't nobody got no time for no setup. I need to get with y'all, let y'all know what's happening on game day. Give you guys some vegan appetizer options if you needed some. Um, so I wanted to get this up before Super Bowl and I'm running a little late, you know, CP time. But we here though, and that's the point. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you do not miss any of my uploads. I'm here to show y'all some vegan appetizer options for game day tomorrow or any day. I mean, you know, if you having a small, intimate, within regulations gathering, you might want to throw together some appetizers for you and your guests. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and hop right into the video. All right, so first things first is our vegan air fryer egg rolls so i'm going to be using this coleslaw mix now i'm not going to use of course the dressing i just need the cabbage and carrots so we're going to throw that in a pan with a little bit of oil we're going to place that on medium high heat and we won't get this together now i'm throwing in a whole bag because we making all of this today okay these go like literally i blink and they are going in my house so I found this dressing at the market. You can, of course, use soy sauce, ginger. You can make whatever combination you want for your filling. But for me, this was just easier. You know, I did a little ancestor drizzle right up on my cabbage mixture here. I cooked that down for about three to five minutes until that cabbage wilted down. And boom, we are moving right along. Y'all see how easy this is? So I got these reps from ShopRite. I live in a Philly surrounded area. I'm actually in Chester. So I got this from ShopRite. So it would be next to the tofu in your supermarket if your supermarket has them. So here I'm just placing two husky spoonfuls right into our wrap here. And then I'm going to go ahead and roll this up. Take your time if you have issues with rolling. You know, tuck them corners in and then, you know, roll it right up. And I know what y'all thinking. Why your hands so ashy? Coronavirus! Coronavirus! So here we already have our air fryer greased and ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop all of our egg rolls in here. I was able to make about seven egg rolls. So it worked out perfect. They were all able to fit. I have a big fryer. So we're going to go ahead and spray that with some cooking spray. You know, just to help it brown. So we're going to pop this in our air fryer at 350 for six minutes. You know, help these get their life together. And boom. Look at that. It's like no. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. So once we... <laughs> Once we get them out for that, I play all my life. I really do. So once we uh, are done with the six minutes, we're going to take them out. We're going to flip them and we're going to spray them again. And we're going to pop them in for six more minutes. So I like to dip my egg rolls into yum yum sauce. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a homemade vegan yum yum sauce. You can, of course, dip your egg rolls in whatever you like. Okay, it is your world. But here I'm just going to be taking a cup of some vegan mayo. We're going to pop in some ketchup, about two tablespoons. And keep in mind, a full list of the ingredients will be in the description box below. So here I'm throwing in a tablespoon of sugar. I use coconut sugar, but you can, of course, use whatever sweetener you like. We got some smoked paprika, some garlic powder. We're going to pop in about two tablespoons. I'm sorry, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons, y'all. Two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. We're going to pop that right in there as well. Get a nice little stir. Flick that wrist. And boom. You know. Simple as that. Little yum yum sauce. Set that to the side. And at this point our egg rolls are done. They are ready to go. Be sure to let them rest and let them cool off. Because those air fryers are hot. And them egg rolls are going to be even hotter. Okay. Don't do what I did. Because I was. Okay. It was hot. It was really hot. <laughs> so there we have it. Our vegan air fryer egg rolls with our yum yum sauce. It was, they are so good. And they so easy, y'all. They are so, anybody could do, like your kids can make these, okay? All right, moving right along. All right, so next up are our black bean sliders. Now these, ugh, child, these are so good. All right, real quick. So in our pan on medium high heat, we're just going to chop up half an onion and we're going to let that brown up in the pan real quick. We're going to set that to the side. So I'm just going to be taking one can of black beans here that I thoroughly rinsed and patted dry. I just had them in a bowl. I have a masher here and I'm just going to mash these all up. You can, of course, do this with a fork 
and we're going to mash it up until the, it's at this consistency. Then we're just going to go ahead and add in our onions that we just had. I'm going to add in a cup of this brown rice. It's like a brown and wild rice mix. Now, you can, of course, just use regular brown rice. Child, you can even do quinoa if you want. Um, but I just put in a cup of that. We have a cup of breadcrumbs here. I have one tablespoon of vegan Worcestershire sauce. Vegan Worcestershire sauce. The Worcestershire sauce is vegan because this is a vegan recipe on a vegan channel. It is vegan. The link will be in the description box. Okay? I'm sorry. I just had to say that because people always say it's not vegan. It is vegan. Okay? So we have some barbecue sauce, our seasonings. We have chili powder, cumin. We have uh, salt, pepper, smoked paprika. We are just going to go ahead and stir this all up until it is to this consistency of course if it is a little dry you can always add in some more barbecue sauce but i am going to be using my ice cream scoop here just to make everything nice and uniform we are going to spray our pan here again over medium high heat i'm going to place some of our patties in here now i did make them small because they are sliders they're going to be on slider buns so you do want to make them a little smaller so i am going to cook these for about three to five minutes until they get this type of crisp so this will be up to you. It all depends on your doneness, you know, whatever you like. So I cook mine for about three to five minutes until they are crispy, okay? So we are going to go ahead and get our sliders together. I just have some barbecue sauce. I'm going to place some spring mix on here just because that's all I had in the refrigerator. Typically, I would have did romaine lettuce. But we have some spring mix here that we're going to pop on. We're going to do some tomato of course, get our black bean burgers on there, and then I'm going to seal it all together with some toothpicks. Now, I didn't have no decorative toothpicks, so don't come for me, okay? They got these regular toothpicks today, and it worked out. And boom, that's it. There it is. Simple, easy, it bang. The whole family going to love it. <laughs> like, what more do you want from me? What more do you want? I feel like, I feel like this is it. But last, but certainly not least, y'all, I am so proud of this recipe. Like, I am beyond proud of this recipe. Like, I am so proud of this recipe because it's so good. Like, it's so good. It is extremely good. Please try this recipe. Like, all of them, I want you to try all of them, but this one specifically this one different. So here we are going to be making a vegan version of a cheesy crab dip, okay? So if you've been watching my videos, then you know that I absolutely love using Heart of Palm as a crab substitute. Heart of Palm just, uh, the consistency, the texture, it literally matches crab measure for measure. The only thing is, it doesn't taste like crab, but the consistency is on point. So here you just see me putting a fork in one end and dragging the other fork down just to go ahead and break that up if you would like some chunks in your dip then you know you can leave some parts more whole um, but I mash mine down pretty well just because that's how I like it so I went ahead and mash this up with a fork and with the can that you guys seen the palmitos pal palmitos now y'all know my Spanish is terrible but uh if you can't find heart of palm you may be able to find it in there and in the international section of your supermarket and that is what it'll be labeled if you uh, are looking for heart of palm and you can't find it at your local supermarket but it is typically next to the artichokes and if you have a well-stocked walmart it is at walmart next to the artichokes in the canned food section all right boom moving right along so i decided to cook up our heart of palm before we go ahead and put it in the dip so i just have it in a pan here with a little bit of oil over medium high heat I did go ahead and add in some kelp granules for the sea-like flavor. So you could do kelp granules, you could do dose flakes, nori flakes, whatever your heart desires. If you don't want that sea flavor, then leave it out, you know? You could tweak it, flip it, bring it back, revert. Well, you could do whatever you want. This is your crab dip, okay? So here I'm just going to add in the kelp granules. We're going to do some Old Bay. We're just going to season this up, okay? And we're going to let this cook down. I'm going to let it just brown a little bit. So about five minutes, we are going to get this together. 
So in our bowl here, we have our mock crab. I am then going to throw in some vegan cream cheese. You, of course, want to let this cream cheese sit out at room temperature to help it soften up before you add it into your dip. So I'm using the entire 8-ounce package. So we're going to get that up in there. I am then going to add in a half cup of some vegan sour cream. Y'all know that I like the Tofuti brand. Then we're going to add in about a third cup of some vegan mayo about a teaspoon of some fresh lemon juice. And of course, we got to do our ancestor shimmy of the Old Bay because we got to get this dip right. Then I'm going to add in this Lost in the Sauce Hot Sauce La Trinidad. This is so good, y'all. I love this hot sauce. I'm going to link it below if anybody's interested in buying it. It's very good. I use it on everything. So we are going to add our cheeses in. I'm using Veal Life, Field Rose Diet, child. We're using all the cheeses today. So I'm taking a nice husky handful of each cheese. Y'all know I like the handfuls to be husky. And then we're going to place that in there just like that. Then I'm going to get everything folded in nice and simple. Nice and easy. Okay. Y'all see how this is coming together? Real simple, real easy. You feel me? So we are going to take our oven safe pan. We are going to grease that. We're going to add our dip right into there. I'm going to bake this at 400 degrees for 20 minutes that's it and then child y'all gotta see this dip wait i got this bread real quick <laughs> i'm jumping the gun real quick i got this bread from the bakery section at my local market and i just cut it up because i couldn't find a little cute little um bread that's vegan so i just went and found some bread and cut it up myself made it real cute and boom y'all look at that Look at that. All right, y'all. So my outro is going to be right here in my kitchen today because I got some running around to do. Um, and, and I need to head to the juice bar. So I think, hold on. Because I don't have no business eating this bread, but y'all. Mm. This dip. This dip is so good. Mm-hmm. Knowing good and well, I need to be eating some cucumbers. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. I just wanted to hurry up and get this video up. Give you guys some time to run to the market if you want to make any of these recipes for tomorrow. I appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I will see you in my next video.